Hey y'all, so before we get into the main part of the video, if you guys missed my last craft video where I was making these DIY Halloween soda stands, these are now officially for sale. So we have this one that looks like a headstone, has RIP on it, has that green and silver color to make it look like H stone. And then we have this wooden coffin shaped one that is really cool looks like older wood and they will fit just about any soda you can see this fruit brute has uh, his hand on the back so there's more less room back there but he fits perfectly on his stand as well so if you guys want some of these for your Halloween collection just DM me on Instagram they are going to be uh, seven dollars each plus shipping. I am also going to be working on a Christmas tree one So if you want them for your Christmas display, let me know that as well But yeah, if you guys are interested, just let me know on Instagram. Anyway, continue with the rest of the video <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. So before we get into the rewinds uh, I do have two other small things I'm going to show. So I got the last ornament as of recording this the Ornament video hasn't come out yet, and I was gonna just edit in another little thing, but I was like, nah, because it's already ready to go, like it's scheduled. I don't wanna redo all that. But here is Sarah Sanderson, so now I do have all of the sisters. I don't know why she's not holding a spider <laughs> or a rat tail or something. Like, it's weird that they made Mary hold a mouse and they didn't have her holding anything. But regardless, she's here. I got her. So I have all the Hocus Pocus, which is now. And then also at Hallmark, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I was going through some stuff. I wanted to buy something, have a little bit of retail therapy. And so that's exactly what I did. I opened it from the bottom before. And we have a Grinch door hanger, but it's fallen down so much that uh, it's broken now. And so I'm going to have to not hang this on the outside of the door. I'm going to have to hang it on the inside of the door. I know that's not exactly how it's supposed to go, but I don't know if it's like the heat or something making that hook not good. I honestly don't know. But here it is. It says Merry Grinchmas and the white part of it is fuzzy. Now on to the good stuff. So I grabbed three of the Blockbuster Rewinds. Um, I can tell you the consistency on these in my friend groups isn't exactly positive. <laughs> the reason why the sodas took off, in my opinion, was because of the chases in them and the numbers of them. Because everything was a limited number of something, you know, and they all had different chases to it. And so everyone was chasing the chases, basically. Um, and I think they're trying to emulate that with these, but I think it's too far because you know, everyone went hard on the sodas. I don't see people going hard for these. Maybe if these came out first, I don't know, but uh, I'm just gonna collect the ones I want, just like with everything else. So I grabbed the two Scoobies and the Batman Super Friends, fully honest. I wanted this one mainly for the cover of <laughs> I like the Super Friends look here. But let's go ahead open these up, see if I got any of the chases. And also, Mama J's been saying this uh, a lot in the, whenever we're talking about them in the chat group. You know, the soda cans are made of metal, like they'll dent sometimes, but other than that, they're in pretty good shape. These ones are just like any other VHS cover, like old school VHS cover where it's gonna wear out. You know, probably sooner rather than later. This is about the same size as the McDonald's toys. There was a McDonald's set that was like VHS thing. And a lot of things now, I've seen uh, little Disney figures at uh, GameStop that was VHS packaged. I don't know why <laughs> it's only a big thing. But anyway, let's see. Nope, we got the common. So there is Batman. Now you guys know, I've never been a huge fan of the sodas. Um, do I like these a little bit better? Yeah, honestly, I do like the look of these a teeny bit better. Um, but I will admit, those, the sodas look like, um, Hanna-Barbera. These look like, uh, Playmobil. And, oh, they have a different feel to them than the sodas do. This feels like, 
This is cheaper. This isn't vinyl. This is like a... Like, I could bend this if I wanted to. That's not good. But <laughs> there is Batman. <laughs> that little round head. He looks like either a little people, like an old school little people set, or a Playmobil. That's what they look like now. But there he is. Uh, he'll probably stay in here forever. <laughs> but, you know, it is a cool idea. I will say that. I just don't think it's where they need to go right now. And the sticker is on the inside of the little clear plastic thing. So that's good. It's not going to come off very easy. All right, now let's do Shaggy. So I got Shaggy and Velma here too. Now I will say this. If either of these end up being the chase, I will probably go ahead and buy another one to try to get the common. Because in case they do make all the Scooby Gang, I'm going to want all the Scooby Gang. Here we go. This one will be Captain Cutler if it's the chase. And it is Shaggy. Yeah, I'm not going to get lucky on any of these anyway. <laughs> but hey, it's all right. So I'm curious. Nope, it just says Shaggy. <laughs> it would have been funny if they had put his real name, Norville Rogers. I don't know if I'm going to barely do it, but can you guys tell? Like, see? Like, a couple of companies do like bendable figures. It's not quite eraser material, but that's what I want to compare it to. And why is Shaggy holding himself like he's pregnant? I don't... <laughs> Whatever. But there is Shaggy. Maybe the sodas aren't all bad after all. And you know, I know I'm not one to talk about this, but I was saying like they needed to probably just keep it to like major movies, you know? Like do like Star Wars, do Jurassic Park do uh freaking jaws i don't know wizard of oz you know classic movies instead of scooby and batman and disney like i know disney big on movies too but like do a couple of disney and then do some blockbuster hits but whatever all right velma are you in there yes she is so i didn't get any of the chases and that's okay velma's nice are they all gonna have that was batman posed that way too and i just didn't yeah, they're all posed with their hands on their hips like that. Guys, look at Velma's glasses. See how easy I can move the glasses like that? No. <gasps> so, thoughts. Uh, buy sodas. <laughs> Just buy the sodas. Again, I probably will get a few more of these. I'm not going to go crazy. Obviously, if they make a Wonder Woman, I'm going to get it. Um... If they make the rest of the Scoobies, I'll probably go ahead and get it if I don't sell these two somehow. Also, these two, if they're chases, they're villains. I don't... And they do that with sodas, too. Like, the Superman chase was a bizarro. I don't understand why they do that. Why not just make that character? You know? As its own thing, and then make a chase for it. You know, give us the Shaggy in his uh, red shirt. Or holding Scooby Snacks and give us Velma with a magnifying glass and without her glasses or something like that. These are the best things to me. I like the artwork of the covers more than I like the actual figures. Before I saw them in person, I thought I liked these a little bit better than sodas. Mm -mm. I still think these look better than the sodas, sort of, in the face anyway, but they're not built like the sodas. So, buy soda. <laughs> That's... That's my perspective on this. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about these. I haven't heard any super positive reviews so far. Anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. And remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition. I'll see y'all later. Bye.